Hi gardening friends. I'm Lark and I'm in Wisconsin, Zone 5. I'd like to show you my veggie garden after I've cleaned up. This is my new raspberry patch that I got maybe a handful of raspberries out this year but they have multiplied and some of you are probably laughing because you know how raspberries can multiply so I put them in the cinder block garden hoping to contain them somewhat they will travel down eight inches and out and around and they have come out on this side and here's one right here I am going to dig these out and put them in my wild area and maybe they'll be extra raspberries for me and maybe they will be for the birds and for the deer. I have rebar in here because I plan on putting PVC, half inch PVC hooped over it so I can net it next year so the birds don't get this small patch of raspberries. I'm planting herbs in the holes of the cinder blocks and this is the first year so we'll see if they come back. They are perennial but I don't know how they'll winter in these cement blocks. I have uh, a small patch of lavender right in this corner which I plan on putting across the front here. The lavender was started from seed so I'm quite happy with it. It's doing okay. Greek oregano sage, thyme, and some rosemary in the corner. I took out two others and they're in the house. This one here I think I'm going to bring into the house, put it in the basement near uh, a small window and let it go dormant and see if it comes back in spring. My bunch of onions, we're still pulling and eating those. So you've seen all the garden clean up on other channels. I just really wanted to show you my raspberry patch. I will be covering these uh, beds with uh, my worm castings and some uh, grass clippings and leaves. And I'm going to throw some azomite in. This is my new cinder block garden. It was a raised bed this last few years, but now I contained it with the cinder blocks. So it needs uh, more amendments. I did put azomite in there and some manure. Now I read on somebody's channel, be careful of the manure you use because you don't know the chemicals that they fed their cows or horses. Or So now I'm not putting more manure in. I'll just be putting my compost in. I know what's in there. And some azomite and kelp meal maybe. I have garlic along the top here the front cinder blocks so not too much garlic but a few I wanted to see how it will do in the cinder blocks and I bought just an organic uh, clump or bulbs from my organic grocery store few greens but like a lot of you slug problems even with the Japanese large leaf mustard they're eating that but I just trim around it and eat myself Beets, uh, we've eaten some of them. Uh, I don't know if those will amount to anything because I pushed uh, the new dirt or compost we put in here and the manure up against uh, their bulb. So we'll see what they do. I do plan on putting some asparagus in here. My mom across the street uh, has mature roots uh, or crowns that are probably about oh, any they reseed it and then some are 15, 19 years old. So I'm going to be putting it in here. We put it, took a bush out but I want to amend the soil. I'm also going to be putting in some asparagus on the end over here. Uh, some crowns, mature crowns, where we took a bush out. So I'm trying to fit it in wherever I can. And again I'll amend the soil in here. This will get uh, east sun in the morning and it will get sun all afternoon until late afternoon so it should be enough contemplating taking out that verburnum and just putting in more asparagus we'll see I have to debate that with my husband so that's it 
that's my west veggie garden and I transplanted some uh, sorrel red vein sorrel which I call a uh, bloody dock I grew it as an ornamental for many years not knowing that it's edible so now I took it out of the pots and I put it in the corner of this red raised veggie bed another one over in this corner and of course the slugs are liking it also my comfrey patch is over here I cannot rave enough about comfrey I am going to chop that down to the ground and put the rest again on my compost pile but I am getting into medicinal salves and ointments and oils and poultices and this does all of those salve oils lotions adding it to so comfrey is going to be one of my main ingredients along with the uh, uh, calendula plantain uh, and lemon balm they're all sitting in my cabinet in bottles that I repurposed from whatever glass bottles looks funny because I have nothing that matches but at least I'm reusing glass will I make a video of infusing the oils probably not uh, there's a lot of good ones out there Susan weed uh, mountain rose herbs they all have excellent videos so I'm just telling you that I'm I am using my herbs medicinally I have used it for uh, bad knee bad ankle uh, bringing down uh, inflammation bruising and skin for my growing older skin lotions on my face all over my body but it is working well uh, for cold sores I am using a combination of the lemon balm and plantain so that's it thanks for tuning into my channel nothing fancy today just want to show you basically how I'm ending the season thanks for tuning in have a great winter season and I'll be watching a lot of you southern gardeners with your veggie gardens and some of us northerners who are trying to grow bye bye